In this video, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the Phoenix mobile app. In this tutorial, I'm going to get you familiar with the home page, show you how to make a deposit, how to use the crypto converter, how to fund your contract accounts, how to place market orders and limit orders, and how to set alerts. All of that and more with some tips and tricks along the way. If this is your first time signing up on the Femix Exchange, please feel free to use my affiliate link which is in the pinned comment section down below. If you use my link in the comment section down below when signing up, you'll be eligible for at least $100 in welcoming bonuses. Depending on when you're watching this tutorial, you might even catch one of Femix's deposit dazzles and be eligible for up to $2,000 in bonuses. I've also left some time codes in the description down below. So feel free to skip ahead to the section that might be most relevant to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into the video. Once you've created your Femix account, you can get the app here from the home page by just coming up here to the top right hand side of your screen and hovering over this download icon. You'll see a QR code there that you can scan or you can simply download it from the Apple App Store or you can also get it on Google Play. See you inside the app. And here's the home screen once you've signed into the app. The first thing I'll show you here is how to toggle between light mode and dark mode. To do that, tap the profile icon top left hand side of your screen and you'll find the button at the top right hand side of this page here. Mine looks like a moon there. If you tap on that, that's how you toggle between light mode and dark mode. I do like dark mode, so I'll leave it on that for the duration of this tutorial. Now I'm gonna tap the back button top left hand side of the screen and that brings us back to the home page. Below the profile icon, you'll see your assets displayed in your local currency. And this is the total value of everything that you have on the exchange from your contract accounts, your spot wallets, it'll all be displayed there in your local currency. If you wanna change that, just tap on your local currency. And if you wanna see it in BTC, you could tap on BTC from this drop down menu. And now you can see your portfolio balance displayed in Satoshi. But I'll just go ahead and leave it on the local currency here. Down below that, you'll see various different promos and events scrolling past that Femix has going at the time. You'll see trivias in there. You'll see trading competitions, deposit dazzles. If anything in there catches your eye, just tap on that, follow the instructions from there as to how to participate in that event. Down below that, you'll see some quick button features here. You'll see deposit, buy crypto, bonus, convert, finance, as well as rebate. More on some of that in just a second. And below that, you'll see where it says get referral rewards. So if you know anybody that's going to be signing up on the Femix Exchange anyways, you might as well send them your referral code because they'll get a 10% discount on their fees as well as a deposit bonus. And it gives you a little kickback as well. And there's really no point in leaving any free money on the table. So you just tap where it says get referral rewards. And here's where you'll find your referral code that you can share with your friends in order to get those bonuses. I'm just gonna tap back on my phone, getting us back to the home page here. Down below that, you'll see your watch list. You'll, so you'll see mine's currently set to favorites right now, and I'll show you how to add a pairing to your favorites as well as remove one. If you wanna see the top gainers, you just tap on top gainers, and if you wanna see the top volume, you just tap on top volume. So there's a brief in introduction to the home page. So let's show you how to make a deposit. To make a deposit, just simply tap where it says deposit, on this page here, you'd select the cryptocurrency you wish to make a deposit with. If this is your first time making a deposit, I think BTC is the easiest in order to collect your bonus, as well as for transferring into your contract accounts, which is the next step if you wanna be trading Bitcoin using leverage or trading any of the altcoins using leverage. So I'll just go ahead and select BTC by tapping on it. And here's the BTC deposit page. If you're sending in from a smartphone, you can scan that QR code there, or you'll see your BTC deposit address displayed down below, and you can copy that address to your clipboard by simply tapping on those little squares there. And it's really that simple in order to make a deposit. I'm gonna tap the back button, top left-hand side of my screen here, and that brings us back to the home page. Once your BTC arrives, it'll be in your BTC spot wallet. So the next step is to fund your contract accounts if you wanna trade using leverage. But if you wanna trade the altcoins using leverage, you'll have to fund your USD contract account, which means we're going to have to convert this BTC into USD. So let's look at the converter first. So let's go ahead and tap on convert. And this brings us over to the converter page. And as you can see, it's already set to convert BTC into USD. Now you can switch those around by tapping on the arrows to the right hand side when the time comes. But of course, we're gonna leave it on BTC into USD. Down below, you'll see your available balance. And just above that, you can, you can punch in a custom amount that you wish to convert. Or uh, you can simply just tap on all, tap on get quotation. 
And on this page here, you'll see at the bottom, there's a little blue uh, box that's checked. It says, after the conversion is complete, transfer directly to the contract trading account. And of course, that's what we want. So we're going to leave that checked. But if you wanted to convert this and then have the USD land in your spot wallet, you'd uncheck that box. But in our case here, we're going to leave it checked. We're going to tap on get quotation, tap on confirm. And we'll see here that it says conversion is successful and we'll see that uh, the funds have been transferred into the contract account. So we'll just go ahead and tap on done. And now we're back on the home page. Now I'll show you another way to fund your BTC contract account as well as your USD contract account. So to do that, tap the wallet icon bottom right hand side of the screen. On this page here, you'll see the transfer button at the top right hand side, so tap on that. And now we're on the transfer page. And here's where you can transfer out of your contract accounts back to spot wallets or from your spot wallet into the contract account. You can see mine is currently set to transfer from contract trade accounts to spot wallet. So let's go ahead and flip those around by tapping on the arrows. Now we're transferring from the spot wallet into the contract account. You can see down below your available balance in BTC. So if you've just sent in BTC here and you'll see up above that we're currently selected to BTC. So this is transferring to our BTC contract account and this is for trading the BTC inverse perpetual swap at using leverage. So we can either tap on amount here to tap in a custom amount or you can tap on all, then tap on confirm and you'll see that we successfully have transferred the BTC from the spot wallet into the BTC contract account. We can just go ahead and tap on done and that, that's how you get that done. Now I'm going to tap on the home button here. Now we're back to the home page and I'll show you how to do that into your USD account. Again, down bottom right hand side, tap on the wallet icon, then tap on transfer top right hand side. Now tap where it says BTC and switch that to USD. And now we need to flip the contract trade account to spot wallet by tapping on the arrows. Now we're transferring from the spot wallet into the contract trade account. Again, you'll see your available balance down below. You can put in a custom amount or tap on all, tap confirm, and we've successfully funded the USD contract accounts. Go ahead and tap on done. Now I'm going to tap the home button and we're back to the home page. So now that we've gone over how to fund the contract trade accounts, let's look at putting on some trades. So to access a pairing, you can select one from your favorites here. You can select one from top gainers, top volume. But if you want to see all the pairings, tap on those bars to the left of 100x down at the bottom left hand side of your screen there. Once you tap on those, you'll see all the pairings that are available to trade using, uh, using leverage. So let's go ahead and tap on link versus USD to do an example with that. So I'm going to tap on that. And this brings us over to the link USD pairings. And you'll see the chart here. And up above that chart, you'll see the time frame. So you can toggle between time frames by just simply tapping on the one that you want. So if you want the 30 minute, tap on there. If you want more time frames, just tap where it says more. And then you can select a time frame from here. So I like the four hours. So we'll go ahead and tap on that. Down below the chart, you'll see some indicators that you can add. So if you want moving averages, you can tap where it says MA. Now we've got the moving averages and then just tap it again if you want to remove them. If you like the MACD, you could tap on MACD and you'll see that the MACD is now being displayed below the chart there. And again, if you want to get rid of it, just tap on MACD again and that's how you get it off your chart. Down below that, you'll see the order book. And if you want to see the recent trades, just tap where it says recent trades. And here's the recent trades panel. At the very bottom, you'll see the long and short button. And obviously, if you're betting on price to go up, you use the long button. If you're betting on price to go down, you use the short button. Now to the right hand side, bottom right there, you'll see the fave star highlighted. That's how you add and remove a pairing from your favorites list. So you can see that faves is currently highlighted right now. So if I tap that star, it unhighlights. That means it removed it from my favorites. So I'm going to tap it again and that's how I add it back to favorites. So that's how you get a pairing to show up on your favorites list on the home page. So let's do an example of a trade. So in this case here, I'll just tap on buy long. Let's just imagine that we're betting on price to go up. So tap on buy long. Now we're on the link USD order form here and I'll start the top of this page and work my way down. So on the top right hand side, in that little blue box, you'll see where it says 5X and that's the current amount of leverage that I have selected. If I tap on that blue box, here's where we can adjust the amount of leverage we, use, we wish to use. And you can do so by just tapping in a custom amount right here. So you could do something like that or you can use the slider bar here. So let's just go ahead and toggle it down to 2X, tap on confirm. 
Now we're getting a little notification at the top there saying leverage has been modified. And you'll see in that little blue box now that we've moved the leverage down from 5x to 2x. Down below that, you'll see the three different order types that you can place, the market orders, you can tap on limit orders for limit orders, tap on conditional orders for conditional orders. And if any of you are unfamiliar about the differences of these order types, feel free to check out my Femix Beginners tutorial. And I also have an entire video dedicated to conditional orders on Femix specifically. So feel free to check those out. I'll leave them linked in the description down below. So let's start with a market order demonstration here. Below that, you can see under quantity, if you tap on that, you can put in a custom amount of contracts that you wish to trade. And if you're wondering what each contract represents in that asset, it usually tells you in that little box there. You'll see in this case here that one contract represents not point to link. So if we wanted to trade an entire link, we'd have to put in five contracts. If we wanted two links, we'd have to go 10 contracts. And the math just scales from there, just to give you a general idea. For this demonstration, we'll just go five contracts. And actually down below that, you have this slider bar too. So if you want to deploy a percentage of your portfolio, you could do like 27% or, you know, play around with that and, uh, you know, select what's best for you and your, and your trade idea. But for this demonstration, I'll just leave it on five contracts. Down below that, you'll see your available balance. You'll see the value in USD of this contract, that were, of these five contracts that we're putting on. And when you're ready to place the order, you would tap on buy long again if you're betting on price to go up, or you can toggle over to short and you could short as well. But we'll just go ahead and buy long and tap on that. And you can see that the order has now been submitted. So I'm gonna tap the back button on my phone here. And that brings us back over to the link USD pairing here. And at the top of the screen, you'll see now on the positions tab, it says one beside it. If we tap on positions, here's where we can view that position that we have open on the market now. If you wanna set a take profit and a stop loss from here, just tap down below where it says TPSL, tap on the pencil there. And here's where you can add a take profit as well as a stop loss. To add the take profit, tap take profit. And here's where you can put in the uh, your, your take profit target. So let's just say for fun, we're targeting, thir targeting $35. We'd put that in there. Down below, you'll see that Femix is letting us know what our expected profit would be if that target gets hit. And then down below that, we can add our stop loss as well. Let's just say if price gets below uh, $28, we wanna get out of the way of this trade. Obviously, I'm not doing technical analysis here. I'm just showing you the mechanics as to how this works. Of course, you'd use your TA to uh, make these kinds of decisions. Down below that, you'll see now that Femix is estimating what uh, our loss would be if price action was to, uh, if we, it was to go against us and stop us out of the trade. Once you're satisfied with that, just tap on confirm. And now you'll see that we've added a take profit as well as a stop loss. So 35 bucks is our take profit and 28 bucks is our stop loss. And now you'll see at the top of the screen under orders, you'll see a two beside that. If you tap on orders, here's where you can see your take profit as well as your stop loss. If you want to cancel either of these, you just tap cancel. So cancel this one here, tap confirm, and then we can cancel this one as well. And that's how you'd get rid of those. Now let's tap back on positions here. If you manually would like to close out your position from here, you can tap where it says close out. On this page here down at the bottom, you have two options to do so. You can use market or you can use limit. Uh, a limit may not fill right away because you're literally putting it on the order book. But if you're in a hurry to get out of the trade, just leave it set to market, tap confirm. And now we've removed that position from the market. So I'm gonna tap on contract, top left-hand side of the screen to get us back to the link USD pairing. And let's do a limit order demonstration. So I'm going to come down to the bottom of the screen here. I'm just going to tap on long again. So betting on price to go up on this page here, tap where it says limit. And now we're on the limit order form. So under price, we're going to type in the price that we wish to enter the trade at. So where we're going to place our resting buy. And I'll just go ahead and just put in 20, $28. So if price action retraces down to $28, order will fail and I'll be in a long position. Down below that, you put in the quantity again. We'll just leave it on five. And typically with limit orders, I make sure the post only box is checked. So we'll go ahead and tap that. This gets you a rebate on your fees. So not only are limit orders a bit more strategic, but you can also get a rebate when using these. Now, 
The reason for this is because you're providing liquidity to the order books. It makes you a market maker. And exchanges typically like to incentivize traders to place orders on the order books, providing liquidity. And they do that by offering rebates normally. And it, Femix will offer you the rebate of the 0.025. When you're executing market orders, you're a market taker because you're removing liquidity from the order book. And you'll pay a fee of 0.075% to use market orders. So it's always a good idea, even just from the standpoint of fees, to try to use liquidity limit orders as often as possible. So make sure that post only box is checked for that. Once you're ready to place the trade, you just tap on long link. And now down below, you'll see the order has come up and we've placed that order on the order book. So I'm going to tap the back button at the bottom of my phone here. And now on this page at the top, you'll see under orders, there's a one beside it. If you tap on that, here's where you can see your order on the order book. And if you want to cancel this order, just go ahead and tap where it says cancel. Confirm cancel, yes. And now you've canceled the order. So I'm gonna tap back over here on contract, top left-hand side. Now I'll show you how to set an alert. So down beside the short button there, you'll see a little alert bell. If you tap on that, this it brings you over to the alert page here. And here's where you can set a price alert. So for Chainlink here, we can tap where it says enter amount. And let's just put $30 in. So if price action hits 30 bucks and is moving up beyond that, we'll get alerted that price has reached $30. When we're ready to add that, we tap on add. And now you can see down below under alerts, we've added that alert. So if price hit 30 bucks, we'll be notified. If we want to get rid of that alert, just tap the trash icon under action. And now we've removed that alert. I'm going to tap the back button, top left-hand side of the screen. And now we're back to the link USD pairing. If you want to change the pairing from here, you can just tap where it says link USD perpetual. This brings up your favorites list here, but you can tap on all. And here's where you'll see all the other pairings. So if you want to change over to dot, you just tap on that. And now you're to the dot pairing. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a quick introduction to the Femix mobile app. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section down below. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, take care. 